If you've been following these tutorials, you'll see that we've been designing a website using the Oxygen Builder. In the last video, we took a look at um, using the Gutenberg integration to create a more client-friendly site. Now, um, one of the things that we also did was create an, a custom plugin to be able to inject some stuff into the page. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at some other plugins that you can use to enhance the experience of using Oxygen. Now, there are a lot of different plugins out there. If you go to the Trello um, link, you'll find this in the folder, which is in the link of this video. Um, you, this particular uh, page has a lot of great plugins, many which are free, um, that uh, you can use with Oxygen. Now, there are some that, are, that you do have to pay for. Um, and so just taking a look at some of the free ones, the one that we're going to look at here is Oxygen Checkpoints. This is a really helpful plugin. And then some of the paid ones, uh, the Oxy plugins are very, very good. Uh, they have the Undo, which allows you to have Undo and Redo functionality in Oxygen. And then you have the ability to fix your classes and, and move classes from an ID to a class. Um, and then I really like these as well. The hydrogen pack for Oxygen Builder and the custom attributes allow you to do some really advanced stuff, especially with the attributes. We're not going to go over that one in this tutorial, but at least we'll install the hydrogen pack and just show you kind of what it does. Um, and there are some other plugins that are out there that are free. So in order to do these plugins, one thing that you can always do, of course, is go and search for them. So if you look for Oxygen, One of those plugins that we used at the very beginning was the Editor Enhancer. Another one that I think is really, really good is this uh, WP Dev Design Oxygen Navigator, and I already have it installed, so I'll go ahead and activate that one. And I activated it with a control click. Um, the Oxygen Currently Editing is also a nice one to add in. And then also this Essentials, you can go ahead and install that one. So these WP Dev Design ones are really quite nice. I'll go ahead and activate that one and then finally activate the last one as well. Now, of course, you could have just activated one and then activated them all in here. So I have those all activated now. And let's go to a page such as the services page, and I'm going to edit this in um, Oxygen. Now, before I do that, though, I know that I'm not going to be using any Gutenberg content at all. So I'm going to take this message all out for my client and say, this page is edited with Oxygen. And I might put that note in there just so they know that any content that they put in here is not going to work. Any content that they put in um, Gutenberg, that is. So now I'm going to edit this page with with um, Oxygen, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the catch-all template. And the reason why is because I want to make sure that I have a full screen experience instead of it being contained to just the page width. By the way, um, if you wanted to get the oxygen checkpoints, which I think I have installed, I'm not sure if I activated that. Oh, I didn't activate it yet, so I need to activate that one. Um, in order to use that one, you just go ahead and clone or download. So you download that zip, and then you go to your plugins, and you upload that zip um, and activate it. So that's how you get that one in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and refresh just one more time because I do need it loaded with that oxygen checkpoints for what I want to do. All right, so I'm now editing the page and I'm going to add some stuff from the design sets. I'm going to go to the atomic. Let's do, I'll go ahead and do a product tour even though I'm not on the I'm on the products page, I'm on the services page. But you can see that I've created a lot of different content right in the page with Oxygen. 
So now I just saved that, so if I did go and view this page, you'll see that that content is definitely showing. So it's great. Really, really easy to use. But I'd like to play around with things and, and have a couple different options for how things look. Like maybe I want to move something on the left or right. What would it look like if I put my image on the left hand side and my text on the right hand side? So if I move that over and then move the other stuff over, you'll notice that one of the things that people kind of complain a little bit about with Oxygen is that there's no undo if I decided that I didn't like that. So that's where this Checkpoints comes in. Checkpoints is a really nice little feature, a free plugin that allows you to create a session checkpoint um, while you're working. And so I'll say image on left. So I just put that one on the left. Now I'm going to try this back on the right just by moving things around and I'm going to add a checkpoint and call this image on right. Now do be aware that it's not just for these one elements, it's actually for everything in the page. So if I go, whoops, well there you go, I went back to view it again which I really didn't need to because I already had it here. So here it's where it's on the um, right and then I'll apply the image on the left one and you'll see it's now on the left. If I save that and refresh my page, you'll see I've just flipped the two of those. Once again, I say, no, oh, no, I really like it back on the light, right? So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then, of course, you would save the page. And you'll see that's now on the right hand side. So in using these checkpoints, you just have to be aware it's saving everything for the entire page itself. So if you wanted to rearrange things and one was over you know on top of another one you could change these to whatever order that you want and of course you could then change make a checkpoint for that. Now if I refresh watch what happens. That means now my checkpoints are going to be cleared out. And the reason why is because those checkpoints are only active in that one editing, um, let's say, session. And so just be aware that as soon as you refresh the page, all of those checkpoints are gone. And they're really just meant for you to have some flexibility to try out some different looks um, in that particular page that you're currently in. Now, there is another plugin that I'm going to go ahead and activate. And that's the Hydrogen Pack. So Hydrogen Pack is a really nice plugin because it has um, some really neat little additions that it can do, including shortcut, keyboard shortcuts. So if I refresh this page, reload it, takes it a second. But now I've got the ability to right click and I can copy something, something. I can go down somewhere else and I can paste that element. So I've just pasted it down here or I could go right above and I could paste it there. So you can paste, um, copy and paste elements or entire regions. So if I wanted to make a copy of this region or this whatever it is here, that hero section, I'm going to copy that, go down below this one, I'm going to paste, and you'll see it has pasted that entire hero section. And what's great is that this works across multiple websites. You could copy content from one website and paste it into a different one. So that's really, really neat. Um, some of the other functionality that you get are the ability to make this reusable, um, you could rename it if you wanted to, or you could change the ID, but I've noticed that this ID change does not always work. Um, that might be because I'm in the um, preview or alpha version of the Oxygen Builder. It also changes your drop downs or your structure panel and makes this a little bit more drag and drop friendly, I believe. 
but that's a really nice plugin especially for that copy and paste functionality it's really really nice um, so I certainly suggest you taking a look at it now there's tons of other plugins of course that are out there so you should definitely take a look at those once again the undo um, of Oxy plugins is quite nice and they actually have a new plugin that's coming out fairly soon which is going to be called the Oxy Toolbox um, so I would certainly check that out but you'll see lots of different plugins are going to appear for Oxygen as people continue to use it. Now anytime you do um, install any plugins you might want to go ahead and see if they've generated any settings for example we did the currently editing and the oxygen navigator and so this shows me uh, the templates and the pages using the oxygen uh, navigator the oxygen essentials I believe somewhere um, have created some settings I'm not sure I see where that is right now. I forget where that where that goes to. Here's the hydrogen pack, so we'd come back to that one. I believe this essentials. Here it is. It does some uh, enables HTML5 support for elements. So it's just it just adds some stuff in there that you don't even realize it's being used, but uh, it somehow it helps it work a little bit better. So um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials on Oxygen. Certainly they are not comprehensive, it's just kind of to get you started. I would look at the documentation on OxygenBuilder.com. It's really, really good. You're going to see this builder used more and more in the future because it is exciting what it can do. It's a really, really robust builder. And so um, I'm excited to be using it myself and it gives me um, the the control that I want as a developer um, uh, and also the ability to design very easily uh, all in one application. So I think it's a great builder for WordPress and uh, let me know if you like it. Thanks.